All right, guys, welcome back to Kai Tao's lab here on YouTube. We're here again, part seven, with Sea of Solitude. We just got done connecting a few of the, uh, I'll say, forgotten souls or of happiness. We broke open the shell once again, but we're still a monster, uh, as the evil spirit monster of sadness tells Kay that she still is. Why is she still a monster? Why is she still covered in black feathers? Why is she still have red eyes? That's what for us to discover. Why? We're trying to figure out what happened to her mom and dad to, to separate them. They had a great, beautiful, um, you know, courtship. Although awkward, with the dad talking about babies in the first date. Weird. Too soon. But, what happened to them? Why they break up? Why they, why they divorce? And why does she blame herself for their unhappiness? That's not what you do. That's their unhappiness. So here we go, guys. Dive more into it. Let's go. Let's see what the hell's going on here. And why, oh why, oh why... Oh, Chloe. Here we go. Fine and mellow. We can figure this out, okay? Okay, so that 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 chapter title sounds good. Fine and mellow. So hopefully this means we're resolving issues. Please be resolving issues. It's been a very dark start to a few chapters here. Last few chapters have been very dark. But somewhat resolute. Hi, right, Glowy, I got you, buddy. Don't worry. Go, Glowy. I'll follow I you. Things have been tough lately. Yes. I miss you. Sunny and Kay do too. You're never really here. Not this again. I told you I need to work. It took me ages to get to this position. I don't mm. want to lose it. Okay. Kay is 20 now. She can take care of herself, and Sunny has you. Wow. Look, I'm exhausted. Let's talk about this later, okay? Okay. Fine. It's a beautiful day. Let's not ruin it. Deal. And this place is great, isn't it? It's wonderful. I need to show you something. Hmm. What is it? Let's just say we're going on a boat trip. Okay. You see that house over there? Yes. Do you like it? It's a nice house. Oh, well, it's ours now. Wait, what? Are you serious? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's, that's great. So he wanted to hold on to a position that he worked so hard to get in the first place. Not bad. But if your job is holding it back from your family, that's not a good thing. If you, you can work for years, 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 get the money you want to get, and you know, give it to, like I said, give money to your family, help support the family. But if you're only supporting the family with money and not your emotions, they're gonna miss you. It's not worth it. In the end, it's not worth it. But I have a job that's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. Say if it's awesome, it takes away from your family and your friends and everything else. No. If it's pretty cool and you get a lot a lot of time with family, friends, and your job is pretty cool, that's good. Good balance. It has to be a balance. You can't just have you can't just keep having excuses. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. Leave me alone. I'm tired. I have no time to be a, fa a father. Or or you know, a husband to you. No, man. Kids can't grow up on my dad's busy. Or uh, and the wife can't hold on to a paycheck and say, "Oh, this is nice and warm and lovely." No, well, man. Well, think of all the things we can do here. You can barbecue in the summer and, and relax in the garden. You can even She wants her husband home. back. It it's just this is all so sudden. Let's go inside. You'll love it. Okay. We're going to be so happy here. I promise. Hmm. <sighs> she just wants her husband back, man. She wants that man back that she met at the market. That's Four all it is. Four years ago, we bought that house. So, my family home was just a rescue measure. Yeah. It was a lie from the very beginning. Tsunami! I don't want to talk. Why don't you get that? Hmm. Our family is falling apart. Because you won't talk. 
All we need to do is listen to each other and, and help each other. It's not that hard. Mm. No! We have tried that for long enough. Hmm. Damn. Hey, wake up! Wake up! Let's play! Whoa, what the hell? What is going on? Whoa. Mama, Papa. That's awesome. Why don't you want to talk? You do enough talking of both of us. All I want is some peace. Hmm. you're always moaning and whining it. and disrespecting me. Leave me alone. Damn, dude. That is so sad. Look at the hurt on her face, though, dude. Like she tried so much. If, if someone doesn't want to be with you, you can't, you can't, you can't try hard to make them love you. Scene. If you hide away on your own, nothing will get better. And I was fine on my own before you forced this whole thing onto me. What whole thing? Seriously. They're talking right now. Why isn't this working? Why are you both still screaming? You can't heal everybody. You can't. Sadly, it doesn't work that way. Like some people just cannot get along. As much as you saw the love in their hearts, love, love in their lives, it doesn't always have a happy ending. That sucks. It does. Hmm. Date. You were talking about kids all the time. Exactly. Why are you blaming her for that? You. Please, stop. Stop fighting. They listen to each other. Help each other. Why isn't it enough? Why can't you make it work? Hmm. Jesus, man. Hurry up. Hurry up. <sighs> so sad, man. This is really <laughs> this is hurting my heart, man. This is hurting my heart right now. It does suck. It's 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 unfortunate. Even if they're talking and listening to each other, it still doesn't equal. Oh, they'll be together again and find that love they once once had each other. They won't equal that all the time. It won't. So you were lying about wanting kids? No. I might have wanted them eventually, but you wouldn't wait. I hmm. thought it would help. How? Hmm. You were drifting away. I thought if we had a little one, it, it would be better for you. No. For us. I tried everything to make you happy. Hmm. So, it's all my fault? No, it's not your fault. I made it all worse? He wasn't ready to have a family at that time, but she wanted it because she's under the assumption that if we have kids, we'll stay together. And if you're not happy now, you won't be happy with kids. Kids make things more complicated. If you're happy together, like you really love each other, and you both agree that you want kids, and no one's forcing the other one to have kids, then yeah, it'll be, be it'll be great. There's no pressure. But I guess he felt a lot of pressure about that felt like, okay, I have to have kids or else, you know. 
I mean, he he had kids. But he didn't want to at that time because of his work or whatever, his job to make her happy. And then she pushed to have kids because he was stressed out. They weren't they weren't having communication at all. They weren't communicating at all. They were, they were doing things just to make the other happy, but not making themselves happy. That's why this is happening right now. Here we go. Hmm. We can still fix this. No, we can't. You know we tried everything already. Hmm. How could we ever raise children here? What was I thinking? In a loveless home. No, 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 stop. I always loved you. All of you. I still do. I don't want our kids to go through this anymore. That's where sometimes you have to let go. Hmm. I don't know. So you're able to move forward and heal. Oh no, Kay! Kay! Oh god. Princess. Oh god, what happened? Oh god. Oh wow, her parents! <gasps> it's gonna clear corruption up, huh? Is it? That is so sweet. That is so nice. Oh my god, that's so nice. I'm gonna put her on the boat. Aww. Some, some people are happier apart than together. But she's smiling. But she's happy, I'm, I'm guessing. Good. Now we have Sunny, the mom and the dad. Mama, Papa, no. Huh? No, they they're good. They're happy. They're fine. They turned into humans too. So they did the right thing. Yep. Yep. <sighs> exactly. I'm so happy for them. But I'm still a monster. No, you have to forgive yourself. Yes. You helped Sunny through his his demons. And mom and dad figured themselves out. It's your turn to figure yourself out. Get in the boat! Aww. And I can't understand you. Yeah. Let Mama and Papa. I have to do. Let's go. Bye! Sunny! Mom and Dad! Bye! Aww. I'm hoping that this is only in her subconscious, and in real life she can actually meet and hang with her mom and dad and her, and her brother. If her brother did, do you know, sadly take his own life, that would suck. But if the, at least if her mom and dad were alive, she can go visit her mom and dad. You know, that'd be nice. It'd be a good ending to this, this story. After this, she, she discovers why she's still depressed and upset. I never thought I'd make it this far. Sunny, my parents. So much suffering. Yeah, man. My poor parents. I'm so glad they're okay. They look relieved. No, happy even. That monster was partly right. But how are you supposed to know when to stop helping and start letting go? Right. I know Mama and Papa love each other. I don't understand how you can love someone so much and still say goodbye. That's how life is sometimes. Speaking of goodbyes, I haven't seen a girl in a while. It's so strange. I miss her even though I don't know who she is. <sighs> it's getting cold.
Oh, there it is. The island. Or her island. They can't get through, can they? Yep. She has to figure herself out in order for everyone to, to move on. That's, that's crazy, right? Okay, here we go. The iceberg. The frozen tundra. That is her life. Nobody gets me but you. That is a great title. Nobody gets me but you. Oh, okay. Aww. What? I still can't understand you. Damn. Okay. Chloe. Oh, I'm so happy you're here too. Wait for me. Okay. Chloe? Why are you so far away? So here it is, guys. We're at the very last chapter, I believe, in this, this story, where or last part two, where we have to discover why she is still unhappy. What we can do to free her from this frozen tundra of her life. All right? So, uh, part, I guess part eight is going to be the next one. Let's end this part right now. Right here. We saved the, the mom and dad, or they, they, they saved themselves. She, just, she saw them save themselves. She couldn't talk them into being loved again, but they love each other in a way that's not there together anymore. They can still be co-parent, Sonny, and, well, Sonny, because he's young. But she has to accept that, and she did. She accepted the, the, them not being together anymore. That is huge, because before it's like, I blame myself, you're not together anymore. You have to be together for me to be, you know, happy. No, not exactly. They have to, be, they have to find happiness on their own, and you have to accept that, whether it's good or bad for you. You gotta accept it and she did good moved on now we gotta see why and how she's able to get over her own demons and become once again human to her family so guys if you love this video in this series please do subscribe like the video please do give a lovely comment down below what you love about this so far are you getting the feels i am i'm getting the mega feels this is good this i'm i'm, I'm bittersweet I'm, i want to keep playing this game i want to go for on forever but it won't because games don't go over forever Ah, here's my heart. Anyways, of course, follow me here. Uh, follow me at right here, boom. Twitch.tv slash Catality Guys. I play Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Indie games galore. Um, we just finished up with some awesome retro games. Now we're going on in August in the future on some awesome, amazing indie games. I've been Catality Guys here on YouTube. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Keeping awesome. And see you guys after the jump.